In this video lecture, we're going to cover Logic Pro 10's EXS24 sampler. Now, what this sampler is going to do is allow you to create your own custom drum kits. OK, so you have to have your own drum sounds and everything, but I'm going to show you how you can import them into the software and be able to use them with this sampler. Now, the first thing you're going to do is create an inter instrument track. OK, software instrument. Go ahead and create that. Come over here to your inspector window. Make sure that you turn down or off any extra effects such as reverb and delay. Then come over here to where it says piano and come down to EXS24 sampler. And you're going to select mono. The reason why is because we're building a drum kit. You don't want your drums to be going in stereo. All right. Now, just like all these other sound banks here, you can manipulate the sound. But this does not come with any preloaded samples. You have to load all the samples yourself. So what we're going to do is go over here to edit. And this window is going to come up. This is your sampler. This is the EXS24 sampler. So here's where all your samples are going to be. And then here is where you're going to put the samples or assign the samples to each note on the keyboard. OK, so basically what you're going to do is find your samples. All right. And once you have your samples, this find which sound that you want. You can sample it, bring it in here. Let's say that you like this kick. Now, as you can see, when you bring the sample in and it's all the way over the whole keyboard, it would just begin to go up in key, just like as if it was a regular piano note. Now, I don't want it to do that. So what I'm going to do is take this and move it over. Let's see if I can come all the way over here. Yeah. And we're going to assign this note to C3. It's the middle of the keyboard. All right, so let's take a look at actual this, the, the, the features of the sample itself. There's something called one shot. If you select this, the whole sample is going to play out as soon as you hit the note. You see how that happened? Now, if you don't select it, you have to hold it down to hear the whole length of the note. OK, so I always have one shot selected, especially for your kicks, your snares, things of that nature. We also have something you can do called reverse. It gives a cool sound. But for this tutorial, we're just going to keep it at the one shot. OK. And what you would do is continue to build your drum sounds. It's going to be the same procedure. And you would go on and continue to do that all the way up the the keyboard until you have a full fledged sound kit that's customized the way you would like it. Now we're going to cover how to save your drum kit. It's real simple. Go up here to instrument and push save as. Give it a name and click save. Now, if you click out of this, say you want to go ahead and start from scratch here, go to software and turn that down. Come to the sampler. All you do is go to the edit instrument and open. And you find your drum kit right here. But that's in a nutshell how to use this sampler to create your own drum kits. Thank you so much for watching. In the next lecture, we're going to cover Logic Pro 10's vintage instruments.